What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Peaches by Justin Bieber, Daniel Caesar, and Gibeon. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments down below what are the songs by any of these awesome artists that you wanna learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing you should wanna know to play Peaches on guitar is that in order to keep the song as beginner friendly as possible, we're gonna capo up to third fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll have a link to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing we would usually go over for a song is the structure, but for Peaches, we're just gonna repeat the same chord progression with the same strum pattern through the whole entire song. So you don't need to worry about the structure for this one. And the last thing that you want to know before we dive into Peaches is the four chords that you need to play this song. The first one is D sus2. The next one is A over C sharp. The next one is B minor 7. And the last one is A major 7. And I'll have chord charts for all of those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Peaches. Oh, man, I am totally digging this song right now. It's got such a cool groove, has those seventh chords, which I absolutely love. So fun to play and very beginner friendly as well, because we just have one chord progression and one strum pattern that we'll repeat through the whole entire song. Super beginner friendly, nothing too crazy going on here. So let's take a look at the chord progression that's going to repeat through the whole song. We're going to start with that D sus2 chord. And then we're going to go to our next chord, which is this A over C sharp right here. Which may look intimidating if you're new to guitar, because I'm barring that A part right there, that third or second fret on the D, G, and B strings. But you can actually play it like this. You can play an A chord regular without the bar, and then use your pinky to reach up here and play that C sharp note, fourth fret A string. You can play it like that if it's easier for that second chord, the A over C sharp. I like to play it like this. I think it's a little easier. And it's an easier transition from that D sus2 as well. From there, we're gonna go to our B minor 7. Pretty standard there, nothing too crazy, just a standard B minor 7. And then we go to that A major 7. Same thing here, nothing too crazy, just a standard A major 7. But it perfectly fits the song, sounds beautiful, and it really, really matches up very well. So, from there, guys, the only other thing we need to know for this is what we're using for our strum pattern. We'll use our D sus2 as our example here, since that's our first chord. For each chord, our strum pattern is gonna be down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Just about like that, but just a little quicker, so more like down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Just about like that. And if you want to, you can add just a little bit of chucking, some muted notes in there, some different kind of things like that to just give it your own personal flavor. I'm gonna be playing that strum pattern pretty straight up just to show as an example. But remember, if you're playing this as a cover, be sure to add your own personal flavor to it. Add some chucking, some muted notes, even maybe change up that strum pattern a little bit to make it your own. So like I said, that's our strum pattern. We'll start with our D chord here and kind of walk through the whole progression. We'll go down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. A over C sharp, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, B minor 7, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, A major 7, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Just about like that, and that's gonna repeat through pretty much the whole entire song. The only place that may change a little bit, and this is again up to interpretation, is some places that it would drop down to just single down strums for each chord. Now, again, up to interpretation, you can totally use that strum pattern through the whole entire song, it'll sound great, but if you wanna add a little bit of a mix to this, you can drop down to some single down strums at some parts where the song kinda just gets softer, and it kinda just adds a little bit of a dynamic. That would look just simply like this. We'd go down, And if you're familiar with the song, you'll probably know where those single down strums would fit. But we're gonna focus on that strum pattern because that fits for most of the song very well and sounds super cool. I'm a big fan. So, with all that in mind, guys, like I said, nothing too crazy here. Just a chord progression and a strum pattern repeated through the whole song. Super cool feel. Love those seventh chords. Really stoked to share this one with you guys. But a couple times through that chord progression and strum pattern that repeats through the whole entire song, Peaches, will look about like this without me talking.
And guys, that is everything that you need to know to play Peaches on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 850 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel. I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there cannot be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see a little sneak peek of what songs I'm working on next, be sure to hit up my Instagram at the Groovy Guitar. And lastly, guys, if you want to support the channel and get your name in the credits at the end of each new guitar tutorial, you can hit up my Patreon at patreon.com slash the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below as well. Guys, Peaches is such a groovy little song. I dig all of these artists and I love teaching songs by all of these artists, except for actually this is my first Gibeon song. So I would love to know what other songs by Gibeon that you guys would like me to teach. I know he's getting really popular right now, but I've taught plenty of songs from Justin Bieber and I've also taught a couple from Daniel Caesar as well. Big fans of both of theirs and I'm totally getting into Gibeon now as well. So I am stoked to share this one with you guys. It's a groovy song, awesome collaboration. I love the chord progression in this song. It's really, it has some of my favorite chords in there, especially those seventh chords, especially that A major seventh. They're just, man, oh, such groovy, vibey, jazzy chords. And I love the feel of those chords. So this just has such a, it just has such a natural groove to it. That strum pattern sounds maybe a little funky and with the spacing there the way that it is, it may sound and look kind of funny and kind of tricky to get down, but what you really got to do with this is just kind of fall into a groove. Like play along with the song and play along with it and kind of experiment with that strum pattern or a similar strum pattern until you just kind of fall into that natural groove and natural rhythm because this song has a lot of that. It's just this natural kind of groovy, borderline kind of jazzy kind of song a little bit. And that's the kind of feel I was going for with that strum pattern was to try to match that feel up. And I think it hit pretty well. So guys, like I said, awesome song. I'm really digging it. This is one of those that like, I heard it when it first came out, but I didn't really like, I was like, uh, it doesn't have a ton of guitar in it. I wasn't sure if I was going to teach it. I got a lot of requests for it. I got friends and family sending me this song and I was like, okay, I have to teach it. And so the more I listened to it, I actually was like, okay, I totally dig it. Like I said, those jazzy seventh chords, I just kind of fell in love with it. I'm totally digging it and I'm totally hooked on it right now. So I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys had a lot of fun learning as well and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.